Hey guys, what's up? Super excited to be here with Wes at European Blockchain Convention, CEO of FP Block. We just came off an amazing side event yesterday. Really, really cool speakers from Signum Bank to One Inch. So many great people building really cool projects. I really enjoyed speaking with him on the panel. So I wanted to have this conversation and ask, how do you think it went? And what do you think you got out of it in the audience? Well, I think, uh, you know, the side of it was great last night. You and your team did a wonderful job uh, setting it up for us. Uh, it was great to have all the participants come in. You know, having 75, 80 people in the building, that was great. Um, some of the, uh, the uh, folks over here that are doing the pitch uh, this week were there having good conversations with them. So I think for us, it was just a really good way to, you know, build community, uh, take care of um, some good conversations around what we think are important in the, in the industry and having folks there supporting that. So I think overall, it was a fantastic event for us. Any key insights that you took out of it that maybe surprised you? I think there's a lot of you know, key insights. I think, you know, a lot of people are thinking the same thing. We got to get a common infrastructure. We can't have 500 stable coins. We got to be able to start, you know, getting this at a level that will allow some sanity and some concentration. So, you know, really enjoyed the conversations around the RWA AI stable coin space. You know, the whole thing around stable coins, everybody's minting stable coins. You know, we can't be doing that. Uh, you know, the counterparty risk conversation was great. Um, you know, how do we bring these enterprises into this space? You know, we were addressing all those issues. You know, we have to have a common set of standards. We have to have a common set of guardrails, um, you know, common infrastructure. You know, even at the stable coin level, you know, we have a certain set of stable coins that we would leverage into this in, in, uh, ecosystem instead of everybody printing their own stable coin, you know, tying it to real world assets and things of that nature. So I think it's really... Uh, was great conversation. So, you know, from an insight standpoint, it just kind of reiterated what we're talking about at FP Block about we need to start focusing on enterprise and user adoption and not ecosystems and grants. And I think you made a lot of good points on stage where it's like, seems like a bribe game sometimes. It is. And, uh, and hopefully we get away from that. Speaking of stable coins, it's kind of just a question that came to my head. What stable coin do you actually think is going to win? I, you know, I think USDC is, uh, you know, USDC is primarily what I look at. That's what I trade with, uh, you know, USDC, uh, DT a little bit, but really, you know, I don't think we need more than a, a couple of them. Um, you know, you might have a Euro stable coin, you might have a US base type stable coin, but we don't need one for Goldman Sachs or this guy or that guy or that project, whatever. I think to me, you know, just a few of them. You got Bitcoin out there as a, as a commodity. Uh, you know, I don't think of that as a currency. I think of that as more of a commodity like gold and platinum. You know, you take a couple of these stable coins, which are the currency that would just tie into the fiat systems and be part of the Forex process. Makes sense. How has this event been going for you? What do you think of it overall? I think, you know, this has been a good event. Uh, I think it's a little more intimate than 49 was, 2049 in Singapore for sure. I think it's more focused around, you know, liquidity staking, you know, uh, financial, which is great. Um, you know, you kind of see a lot of the same things here, a few exchanges, a few, you know, folks doing liquidity staking type uh, things. But all in all, you know, from a volume of people, a little light, but quality of people I think is high, which is what I'm looking for is, you know, people that are actually doing things that actually have the money, that actually have the projects that need to get done and having those conversations. So it's been a good event overall. You know, our side event really made it a, a, a win for us here in uh, Barcelona. And, you know, it's a beautiful city. You know, we had a good time in Singapore. A lot of good stuff came out of that. So this, this last three weeks has been very positive for us on the trail. Awesome. I think so too. And it's cool because we live in such an online virtual world. Everyone's on their computers, everyone's working. Yeah. And then you meet in person or you get to do work in person. It's actually crazy how much faster that can move the oh, needle absolutely. sometimes. Well, you know, people do people with, you know, the people they know and trust. And it's so hard to build trust in relationships over media. You know, you have to build it in person. You have to break bread, as they say, have dinner with somebody, have drinks with somebody, you know, have a conversation somewhere. And that's what this allows you to do. I mean, I think, you know, the Web3 world is such a virtual animal in itself and all the digital nomads. 
I mean, I think we use these conferences as a place to do that and come together and, and conduct, you know, build those relationships in person. So, you know, we enjoy coming to them. We think that, um, you know, this is where we get most of our business from, our business leads out of. Uh, even though we have a whole other set of sales processes that we execute on, this one here is where you get majority of our business. And it's not because... Any other thing that I just meet somebody today or we have a conversation, they see me speaking or whatever, and then they say, hey, I want to talk to you because you solve the problem that I'm trying to solve. So you're about to go speak on the OKX stage. What do you want to, what, what do you plan to kind of talk to, about on, on there? You know, I think a lot of the conversation that we're going to talk about today on stage is going to be about interoperability and, you know, how, you know, we tie all these things together or have common infrastructure. I think we'll be talking about how AI is going to impact uh, how we do things in the future uh, with with Web3. And, um, you know, and that's a good conversation because it needs to be had. It needs to be keep had, being had until somebody, you know, d has an aha moment and puts something out there that will, you know, change the industry and get everybody on the same page because right now we're too fragmented. Agreed. Well, thank you so much for the interview. You're going to be seeing, uh, of course, the panel. We'll be recording that for you guys so you can watch it on the FP blog. Mm -hmm. Uh, socials on on X and YouTube. So thank you again and let's go kill it off the panel. Oh, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it.